Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Illumicrate November box. Um, I got this a few days ago, but I'm now filming it. But it did came a few months late since it's now January, almost February. So yeah, but here we are finally. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So there's the box. Um, and then we have the spoiler card. And this month theme, theme is some kind of monster um, for November. So yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing here I see is this, which is a um, like a tea can tin. Um, I already have a few of these from Fairyloot. So I think this is the first one from Illumicrate. Um, but I don't really need another one. Um, I'm not really, well, uh, it is kind of pretty. Um, there's some creatures on it, some wolves, a mermaid tail and stuff. Um, some creatures on the top as well. And then on the bottom, it has a quote that says, you're a hero and I'm a monster, she whispered. There's only one way that story never ends. Um, by Venezuelan. Um, so it's, it's inspired by only a monster. But... Yeah, it's just a T10, which it's very hard to open. Um, it's cute, but I don't really need more T10s. I already have enough from Fairloot, so yeah. <laughs> then we have this, um, which I think is a spark because I saw the spoiler card already. But yeah, it's a it's a scarf with this pattern. Um, I'm never gonna use this if I'm being honest. Is kind of ugly. It is ugly. Um, and I don't wear I don't wear scarves either. So this is just never gonna be getting any use for me. Um, yeah, I don't like it. It's kind of ugly to be honest. Um, but it's inspired by um, let's see. It's inspired by the Winter Night trilogy by Catherine A Adrian. Um. So there's that. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so, so far this box is kind of trash, but uh, let's see what else is inside here. We have this, um, which seems to be a tote bag. Um, so here's the tote bag design. I think the design is pretty nice. It's kind of cute. Um, I just don't like the material that, or the printing that they did on the actual tote bag. Um, just because I feel like it was going to peel off, to be honest, over time. But I do like the, um, like the actual design on it. Um, but I just wish it had a different type of printing because, I don't know if you can tell, but like this type of printing obviously comes off. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice tote bag, which I already have a, a lot of them from, <laughs> um, Fairy Loot and Lumen Crate and Owl Crate and stuff like that. But I do like it, so... There's that, and it is inspired by a daily education, um, which I have no plan on, I have no, I do not plan on reading that series, to be honest, um, but it's a cute tote bag, um, so yeah, let's see what else is inside here, so I think this is our last item before the book, it seems like, so, yeah, let's go ahead and open it, it's inside this black bag um so let's see oh so it is a like replica sword um that they do every couple of months and I actually like this one this one's actually pretty cool looking um i like the orange and the blue and then it has like little crystals or glitter inside here inside throughout the sword which is pretty nice um yeah i like these um but again dude there's just decor i have some Back here, I have this one from Nevernight, and then I have some tiny ones from Fairy Loop. But yeah, and then I think this is inspired by Party of the Orange Tree. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it is. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cute. So um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this box to be honest. Um, the items were kind of meh, um, but that's okay. Uh, let's get to the actual book now, um, which is, um, 
shrink wrap. Uh, normally they come in the normal aluminum crate yellow bag, but this one just can't shrink wrap, which is fine. It's still protected, I guess. Um, but this month's book is The Lumineers by Suzanne Dinard. And I love this redesigned cover that they did. I love the gold foiling on it. This is very pretty. I actually do like it quite a bit. And then there we have the spine. And then we have the back here. Very pretty. And then it says the forest is dangerous for a luminary on train. So yeah, that's very cute. I just love the a whole bunch. I, I like the, the gold foiling. There's a lot of it. <laughs> so that's very nice. And then we have these sprayed edges um, on the top and bottom or stencil edges and then also they're the same on the spine so they're all the same um uh, so it's pretty simple um but it is nice but i just feel like um the woman crate and fairly has been doing a lot of these simple pencil edges with like leaves or plant flowers or stuff like that but i mean it's still very pretty so i do like it quite a bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and take off the dust jacket um no reverse world dust jacket at this time. Okay, so we have the beautiful, beautiful gold foiling on the naked heart bag. And I think that's so, so pretty. I really love the design they did. Nightmare Cup. I'm not gonna pronounce anything, so I'm just not even gonna try. I don't really like talking because I just can't pronounce stuff right. But, you know, it looks pretty though. Um, yeah. The Comprehensive Guide to Hemlock Falls, Nightmares on the back, it says. And I think this is it's so pretty. I really like it. It did such a great job with this design. And then we have the end pages, which is pretty simple, but very cute. And then I think Lumen Crate loves doing this thing. Yeah, they're the same on the back and front because the Lumen Crate can't do different ones for some reason. Um, that's why I like Fairy Loop because they actually do different ones. Um, but anyways. It is signed by the author, which again, I love receiving signed copies, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's everything that we received this month. Um, let me know your thoughts on the actual items and the books of this month's box. I'm just glad we finally received the box because this is from November and it's almost February in, like, in, like week, in a week or so. So I'm just happy to finally receive this. Um, the items, um, I like the tote bag, the replica sword is pretty cool, I hate the scarf because I'm never going to use it, and then the tea, uh, the tea can, um, it's just going to sit on my bookshelf looking pretty, so, I mean, the box is okay, I'm not really a big fan of it, but I love what they did with the book, the book is my favorite part, and the main reason why I get these subscription boxes is just for the pretty editions of the book, because the book only option and then the items, it's just, it's not that much of a difference for me in pricing, so I might as well just get the items as well. But, yeah, I'm just so glad we finally had the box. So let me know your thoughts on the book and the items, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!